Kia ora everyone, hey, how are you doing today? It's Muzz, and it's really good that you're here. I have a bit of an impromptu video today. This is all going to be in mono, it's not going to be in stereo, because otherwise you would have all of my voice coming out of one side, and all of the paper sounds and pen sounds coming out the other. And I thought it might be quite good just to combine them for this one. been watching the news a lot about all the California wildfires and whatnot, and it's, uh, well, it's awful, isn't it? And I was, I was thinking, because I live right next to a forest outback, and we had a forest fire here in 2020, wow, so it was almost five years ago now, right outback burned like not that much but a good few acres right and it went past people's houses um, but thankfully the houses themselves were okay but everything around it was completely torched so it was pretty scary and I've, I've thought about this from time to time the kind of uh, there's got to be something that we could come up with you know well first thought which I wasn't going to do on this video because this video is meant to be for something else. But my first thought was, how can we not have drones that, you know, um, relatively heavy lift drones like Ukraine has and all that? I mean, if they can drop, uh, you know, ordnance, surely these drones can drop many litres of water, you know? And even if it wasn't that many, what if they could just drop, you know, let's say 100 litres at a time, pouring out the bottom of like some sort of bucket, especially somewhere where you've got lots of lakes. So how would you, say you've got a house here, or a bunch of houses here, and the... Uh, the fire's coming, right? It's coming from the forest and it's heading your way. You get the drones, and I'm talking maybe a fire department has 40 of these things, you know? And they're all GPS controlled, and they can all go on a preset flight path. So the fire's coming this way. It's getting closer and closer to the houses. And the drones come down, scoop up some water, and drop it along this flight path, come around, scoop up some water, drop it along, and then just keep going and going and going and going. And because it's GPS, and because it's there's no uh, pilots, you could have these things going 24 seven, right? I mean, why not? Um, lake, settlement, houses, and there's a fire coming, you know, you, obviously you could just blow out that, but in situations where, say, your fire trucks are all elsewhere, and this one, perhaps this one's a little less, less of a priority, because there's only five houses there, and all the other firefighters are in town, saving thousands of structures, maybe the, the firefighting drone squadron comes out, sets up a wee, a wee spot, scoop, dump, back, scoop, dump, and back. And you have, say, 10 or 20 of these drones just going all the time. That way all you need is the drones themselves, batteries, power, and uh, an operator. Maybe two or three operators in one vehicle. It doesn't even need to be a fire truck or anything like that. And that's all they do. They just go back and forth, back and forth on a preset flight plan. And then as the fire is diminished, let's say you get to take care of this bit, well then the operator just adjusts it, starts dropping in this area, and so on and so forth, right? That was kind of my initial thought, and I feel like we're going to see that one day, but we're not there yet, I don't think. I know China's got some ideas around these things, where they have like a, a drone, and it actually 
actually holds a hose up in the air and it sprays out. Um, but for places where there's lakes and plenty of fresh, fresh water, if you like, drone pick up, dump it, drone pick up, dump it, just back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And then you recharge the batteries and you just keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, surely a steady stream of drops, even if the quantity of water was a little less, could be an idea. Anyway, that's my first thought. My second thought was um, something like this. Imagine a, a pole. It's a sphere. Let's try and make it look like a sphere. Um, basically a fire hydrant pole. So you've already got fire hydrants in this neighborhood, say. Um, and uh, let's remove the paper here. So let's say you've got a house here. Garage. Street. And the street has a couple of fire hydrants on it, so there's obviously water poles going through there, right? And then there's a forest here and a forest fire. What if we had one, a, a network of poles like this with a multi-function nozzle head, various different holes and presets, you could just use like a valve or something to, you know, like a garden hose. And these could be placed in fire prone areas connected up to the same or a similar pipes that the fire hydrants use maybe with again maybe with some sort of a valve where if we, we if we can if we have the choice we can redirect the water from the fire hydrants if say uh, there's not nobody there to use them um, or yeah you redirect it to this multi-function spray nozzle which then comes back around so there's a water pipe and that spray nozzle could create like a misting effect kind of just like a, a saturation of water that would certainly be good when water is scarce and it wouldn't use as much but then I don't know if it would be as effective right but maybe and then you would adjust it as you need it it would at least give people options I would think to create a, rather than creating fire hydrants in a neighborhood you create them around the neighborhood like a like a shield and then you flick the valve and then suddenly your misting head goes to kind of a spray shield maybe it sprays towards the forest fire maybe it sprays towards the house you rotate the nozzle you rotate uh, as needed and so you've got these shields now obviously the downside to this is it would use a lot of water so there would have to be something already in place but you've got one two three four five six seven eight of these heads in this illustration it's just one house but it doesn't have to be this way I mean it could be um, wherever we think the fire could come from um, excuse me wherever we think the fire would come from so maybe there's a valley and there's a settlement of um, various houses and shops and whatever and we're 99.9% sure that if and when the fire comes, it's going to be coming from somewhere here. You know, maybe we've got the ocean on the other side. Not a lot of vegetation here. So rather than having a network of fire poles, fire hydrants all the way through this town, we just have one going around the town with these poles. And, like I said, they, they would only be switched on if needed. You know, you could do house fire, fire hydrant. Another house fire, fire, small fire, yeah, that's fine. But when the worst occurs, we have a strategically placed ring 
which all we need to do is pump pressurized water into it and then we have a shield. Now, I mean, what are we looking at here? We're talking about, a, I was going to say a metal pole, but God, it, it, maybe it could even be made of plastic, you know? I don't know. Some sort of uh, resistant, I don't know, there must be a way to do it, to keep the, the cost low, you know, like fire shield, multifunction nozzle. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, but anyway, that was my idea, and I wanted to just uh, throw it out there into the world. Maybe somebody will, maybe someone's already thought of it. Maybe this idea is the most stupid idea you've ever heard of in your entire fucking life, and you're going to tell me that in the comments, and that's fine too, because we've got to do something, because these things are going to get worse and worse and worse. And my love goes out to everybody who is suffering with, with this stuff. Um, I know LA gets a lot of shit, but I actually really like this city. I've only been twice, I think, but I really like it. And I feel like it's got a lot of good stuff there that, um, not just Disney World, and, uh, sorry, Disneyland, but other stuff like character, architecture, um, natural beauty and so on not to mention all the movie locations that I want to go check out so anyway I hope that that video was uh